so today I'm going to show you how you can install your MySQL on your Mac OS based system so you need to open your web browser and then we need to search for MySQL for Mac and we can see the first URL dev.mysql.com we now need to go to this website and download the MySQL and we need to select our operating system so as I am working on Mac OS based operating system so I have selected the same and now, now I need to select the OS version so either you can select the Mac OS 12 ARM based or Mac OS 12 x 66 86 based so the difference between the two is ARM is Apple silicon based machines the latest one with M1 and M2 processors and the Mac OS 12 x86 is the one having intel based processor so as i am using the arm based apple silicon based processor so i am going to download for the same okay now i am going to download the dmg archive file then the version is 8.0.30 and the size is 448 8 m so i am going to download the same and it's just started the download you can also sign up for the same if you want or you can just start your download okay so I'm just going to start my download I don't want to sign up for the Oracle web account so I'm just going to start the downloading I will be also sharing you the URL in the video description and you can also go and select the same and open at your end now depending upon your web browser and your internet speed it's going to download either in few minutes or few seconds so I have downloaded the same now I'm going to open the same .dmg file and I will be clicking on it so it will walk through us through the MySQL process and we need to allow it to be installed on our macOS machines now continue we need to accept the terms and condition agree if you want you can also choose the destination means install location but I would prefer to install it on the default location install so it will ask you to enter your password for your Mac OS machine So you also need to enter and verify a password for your MySQL. So whenever you guys are going to log in, you need to enter your MySQL password. So I'm going to use a password here next and you need to enter your password. So it says like you need to enter a password like root. So I'm also going to use the same password root. Okay. And then, but it says a reasonable password consists of at least eight characters so I'm going to use root one two three four and now finish and I need to again enter the my Mac OS password press OK now my Mac on my Mac OS the MySQL has been installed you need to now close up the window and you can move to bin the .dmg file that you have been downloaded now let's click on system preferences and now we can see mysql icon has been created here you just need to double click it and you can see your mysql has already been started so for that first we need to configure our mysql and just open the terminal and enter echo space dollar shell as you can see in my mac os machine i am using currently z shell most of you might have been using slash bin slash bash so most of you have been using bash shell so how you can verify you can simply enter echo space dollar shell command and you can also enter ls space hyphen al and you can see either you guys have a bash profile file created at your end or z shell environment file if you don't have any file created at your end do not need to worry you can just simply create the file using touch 
dot bash profile or if you have z shell at your end you can also create the same using touch space dot z s h e n v okay so as i have already have both of my files at my so moving ahead so what we need to do is now i'm going to open my z shell environment file in the similar way you need to open your bash profile and now we can see i have opened it so i have only imported one jdk java home path so i need to also import the mysql path so for that i need to go to the installed mysql folder so just open your again start search menu and then type usr forward slash local so you need to open this local folder and you need to go into the mysql installed folder here and you need to go to bin then right click get info and then just copy the complete path okay so i am just copying the complete path here and now i need to go to the terminal again and now i need to export the same path so to edit your file z shell environment file or your bash profile you just need to press escape first then shift i and then you just need to go to the end of the line if you want to insert in a specific order or you can insert on the top of yours so i'm going to insert on the next line then i'm going to write export space caps path equal to dollar in the curly braces again path and then colon and now i'm going to copy the path that we have copied from here my sql installed folder okay so i have copied my complete path here and now i'm going to save it you need to again press escape colon wq so it will just save and quit this file using this command okay you can also verify the same by opening again the same file and you can see i have imported the path here so i'm going to again close using colon q exclamation close okay so now we need to again open a terminal or you can just simply exit this and just close this window again close it from here and now you can verify that your mysql has been started means it's already been started but if you guys has stopped your mysql you need to start it okay so i can see installed instances is the same which i have just installed mysql 8.0.30 and the same is on active instance so now we need to again open terminal and we need to type the mysql command using which we can open our mysql and can connect to mysql server so the command is mysql space hyphen u space root space hyphen p so now i need to enter the password which i i chose that is root 1234 and i can see i am now connected to my mysql server so i am going to also show you few commands through which we can verify that mysql server is running or not so first i am going to create a database and i am going to give it name create database spring jdbc so my database has been created now we can also verify the same using show databases and we can see spring jdbc has been created already so if you wanted to use the same database use spring jdbc command and database has been changed now i can also verify if any tables has been created in database or not show tables no tables has been created so using this command and this video you can create mysql on your mac os machine on apple silicon based and in the similar way you can download your mysql for intel based machine and can configure the same using this video also i will be sharing valuable information in video description so that's it for today thank you guys